Okay, this is how to use the projector. So what you do is you go and you turn the computer on first, which is the one on the right hand side. There we go, that's all powering up. The screen should come on by itself. You can see that the light's gone green, that's good. If for some reason the screen doesn't come on, there's a power button there, and it is actually broken, so you might have to press <laughs> a pen in there or something, so. Okay, now down the front, we've got to turn the projector on. So what we do is we go and find the remote control for the projector, which is usually on there. And the projector's up there. I think what you usually have to do is stand quite far back. That sounded like it came on. Jack, does this, is this supposed to have any lights on? Oh, there we go, it's lighting up. Yeah, that's the one. There you go. So that takes a few minutes just to start up. You won't see anything on the screen immediately. But just give it a few minutes and, uh, and that's it basically. Projector's on everything. If the projector for some reason doesn't turn on, uh, your best bet is to go and check the plug sockets around the back. Down there, look. Just make sure all them plugs are plugged in and the switches are turned on. Some of the plugs are for the CD player there, uh, which obviously doesn't need to be turned on, but if in doubt, just plug them all in, turn them all on. It's how to turn the projector off. Same as we did on. So you press a power button once, and then what comes on the screen is something that says, are you sure? And uh, we want to press OK. So what we're going to do is, can you see that? There's an OK button there. So we're gonna press OK at the projector. And that's it, and then it starts to turn off. That's it.